Now let us see the architecture of the Android uh, platform. Now as you can see it has uh, structured into four layers. Now let us see the functionality and uh, the structure of each layer in Android. Now at the core of the uh, Android is the Linux kernel. Now the Linux kernel it provides the basic OS functions. It, now it provides the The Linux kernel provides the basic OS uh, function, the file file structure, the file management, the device drivers, the interface with hardware, and more importantly, it provides. It has been particularly optimized for power management as well as uh, memory management, which which is quite constrained as in case of uh, mobile devices. So this has been particularly customized for. Uh, to handle power management and memory management for mobile devices. Now next on this are the libraries that we have in Android. Now, these are the libraries which are written in C, C++ and they provide a support for various uh, services such as the library for media framework which we can use for playing audio and video. Then we have the SQLite database which provides a support for the in database for Android applications. We have the WebKit engine, which is the uh, engine for uh, web browser. We have OpenGL library for rendering graphics uh, for Android applications. Now, apart from this, on at the same very layer, we have the Android runtime, uh, which has all the core libraries that uh, core libraries in Java that the application uses for uh, development, and uh, as this uh, the most the development is basically in Java so it does not support the entire Java SE library rather it supports a part of it that, that was developed as a part of uh, Apache Harmony project and then it has the Dalvik virtual machine now the Dalvik virtual machine is it it is uh, based on the Java virtual machine but it has been highly uh, optimized uh, for mobile uh, for memory and processing power as for the mobile devices as we already know that uh, these things are very constrained uh, on mobile devices so this has been uh, DVM has specifically been designed for Android it, it not it does not run class files rather it further processes the class files into a format called DX DEX format which is more optimized and more uh, memory efficient than the dot class files and these are then run by the uh, DVM and it is uh, designed in a way that it can run multiple instances of the uh, DVM for every uh, app that we run on an Android platform. Now on top of this we have the application framework. Now these the application framework it has uh, high level services which are, which are written in Java and these are uh, the services that our applications interact with for various functionality that we need for example we need the package manager uh, which uh, which manages all the applications that reside on an android phone we have the uh, location manager that you need to uh, find uh, find the location of the device we have the uh, activity manager that manages the life cycles of the activities we have the telephony manager that manages all the calls uh, calls called records that organize uh, uh, for the uh, android phone and all uh, these uh, high level services notification manager for managing the notifications that we send or receive on a uh, android phone now at top, uh, at the extreme top, we have the applications uh, that we develop. Now these applications find place with the existing, some of the existing applications that are inbuilt and that are provided as a part of the Android platform. Now such as uh, the contacts app, the browser app, the dialer app. Now our app the system does not make any uh, 
distinction between the apps that we develop and the application that have been previously uh, built in and loaded on the ad, uh, Android phone. Now these, uh, these are all at the top layer of the Android platform. The browser, the dialer, the context, these are some of the uh, previously built in apps that come with the Android platform. And this is the place where our application comes in when we uh, install it on the Android platform. So this is how the structure of the Android platform is structured. The center part, the Linux kernel provides all the operating system functions, the libraries that provide support for graphics, browser, the encryption layer, the media framework, and these are the applications that are provided for us for uh, various purposes that we will need in our application. And this is the layer where finally our application comes on once we install it on uh, the Android.